Llama Llama ready for art? Today, boys and girls, we are first going to practice some llama heads, how to draw them in different ways or different styles. If you've already done this, that means you've practiced at least two different llamas from the llama sheet. You only need to draw the head and neck so that we can turn our wonderful llama project into a masterpiece by giving our sweet llama a sweater. Start with the ears or the top of the head, decide how shaggy you want your llama to be, and then add its facial features, the eyes, snout, including the nose and mouth, and perhaps some fun details like eyelashes or a smile. Here's another idea. Add a hat or hair piece to your cute little llama. I'm adding a winter hat right here, drawing the hat first, then the ears, the hair sticking out, and the face. Once you've practiced drawing a llama that you like, I'd like you to get out a large piece of paper and draw your llama with a Sharpie this time. You can add details that you didn't have in your sketches or stick with the same llama that you've drawn in your sketchbook. Once your llama masterpiece is drawn, take time to cut it out very carefully on the Sharpie line. And then bring your weaving over to your llama and decide what shape your sweater is going to be. You're turning your, your weaving into a beautiful sweater with a collar and shoulders. Draw it first, then cut it. And there's nothing that says your first try has to be the last. So change your sweater if you've changed your mind or you've decided to change the shape. Now here's another idea. Let's say you don't want to use your beautiful weaving for a llama sweater. You can use a colorful piece of paper and give your llama sweater design some pizzazz. Make your own sweater using patterns with colors and bright shapes and design your own sweater for your lovely llama. Llama Llama. I sure do love art. <laughs>